For this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to change a MIDI track into an audio track. Um, so I have my electric piano recorded. I'm going to turn on my cycle mode. And the reason you do that is because it's you only want to, um, you don't want to record. If I were to stretch the cycle mode all the way to 24, it would actually record the audio for all of this, which you don't want to do because there's no, no reason to do that. So I'll just keep it right at 5. Um, I'm going to solo my electric piano track because that's the only track I want to turn into um, audio. If I didn't solo it, you would get the drum mix in there and everything else. So I'll just go solo. Um, then, once I've, I've done that, I'm going to go to Bounce Regions. Not Bounce, but Bounce Regions. And I'm going to just call this Piano Audio. I think that's what I called it in the tutorial. Um, new track, all the settings that I gave you in the tutorial. Just go OK. And boom, there's your audio track. Now, in this case, I might want to delete the MIDI track. So I'll just click on my classic electric piano, go track, delete. It'll tell me there's regions. That's good. So when I play this back, you can't really hear my... It's not very loud. You get the idea. Let's mute the drum thing. So there's my turned in audio. Now, the other thing that happens with this is that... Um, it's now up in your um, browsers. So if I click on my browsers icon right here, you'll notice here's my audio track. Okay, I've done this a couple times with tutorials, so I have more than one. So you can actually play this track, or if you want, you can just click and drag this track right into your um, window. So you can put it in other places if you want that track to come back, or you can copy and paste um, any number of things you can do, but it's residing in your audio bin. You really want to pay attention to this audio bin because if you're recording, especially takes, and you're doing takes and takes and takes, takes stuff will appear here, so you can actually delete it through here. I'll show you how to do that later in the tutorial. So hopefully that helped.